So the concept of the exhibition, How to Win at Photography, revolves around the relationship between play and photography. So on one side, computer games have been affected a lot by photography with this idea of photorealism and graphics becoming more and more realistic based on the tradition of photography. And on the other side, photography itself has become gamified, right? So you can see in social media platform metrics like likes and followers becoming sort of like point system in a game. And in general, like this idea of rules applies to photography also in its tradition and its history in the sense that uh, photography is not free play, right? There are things that you need to learn. There's like a way to control the apparatus and things they can do right, things they can do wrong and so on. Well, this exhibition has been traveling from Winter to, to the Photographer's Gallery because we are always interested in exploring the ideas around digital vis um, visual culture, image making, processes of photography and um, this exhibition is really uniquely exploring these ideas not only in a kind of historical sense looking at the last hundred years and how um, projects have been produced by all different kinds of artists and what practices that has um, involved but also at kind of um, the latest image makers that have been exploring the digital realms and virtual worlds to use sometimes these same processes, but in really surprising ways. The exhibition is divided into five chapters, and they are game travel, gameplay, role play, replay, and camera play. Game travel really focuses on this phenomenon of in-game photography with artists and photographers going to a video games, but instead of playing the games, being disinterested in winning and interacting with the rules of the game and start looking at the environments, how the game is built, the materialities of the game. So we can sort of, you know, bring a photographic mindset inside the game environment. Gameplay um, looks at this idea of this gamification of the image. So specifically, it looks at um, different ways in which we use social media, for example, and how the image, the network image, is ruled, um, is uh, organized on these different platforms. Replay focuses on the notions of restaging, reenacting, that is both a form that of, uh, of play, image play, that is common in photography, but also specifically something that happens in photorealistic computer games where artists have started restaging or recreating uh, photographs that uh, are from artists or from different contexts. Role play focuses on the idea of, of identity and identity as something that you can build and the norms that you are kind of invited to adapt to but you can also break away from. Camera play finally addresses the relationship between the photographer and the apparatus. And it kind of subverts this idea or uh, yeah, this notion that we are fed that the camera is our tool and we're kind of the master of this tool and kind of look at artists that break away from this relationship and look at um, the opposite where the camera is actually controlling the photographer or ways in which collaboration between the human photographer and the camera machine take place and create this form of like human machine gaze. The exhibition includes works by artists as well as vernacular material like screenshots and um, other videoed and online content um, and it spans around a hundred years in total so it's a, um, works by artists that have produced work from the 1920s onwards and there are also works in the show that are still ongoing. One of the things that I think is most important that I want to to create with the show is a sort of a, an awareness of this idea of game and play um, in a political sense too because you know there's also maybe generally this idea that play is just like simple fun and just uh, free um, playing around but actually play can be a very political act so I think the idea of winning is really something that is left to the viewer so how to win at photography uh, is not 
meant as a tutorial, <laughs> but hopefully it's something that suggests uh, the paradoxes within this uh, game system. So I guess that um, winning and losing eventually kind of collapse their meaning in this, at the end of this exhibition. <laughs>